Good evening, good evening. So, usapang CPI naman tayo ngayon. Ba, CPI release will be at 9.30pm today. Tonight pala, tonight. Okay, so expect volatility sa USD pairs. And our favorite pair, the gold, expect volatility. So, sa video na ito, explain natin uh, what will be the impact dito sa mga, sa data, sa CPI na mga i-release -re dyan. Okay. So, kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa ating YouTube, subscribe sa YouTube channel natin, follow in TikTok, join our Telegram for more trade ideas, fundamental chismis, so chismisan lang ng fundamentals, then trade setups. So, if you want to follow the trade setups na nandun, it's up to you. It's backed by analysis and fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and yun, with risk management. So, never ever open... 4 trades in a day. So, 1 to 3 trades lang tayo and never ever risk 2% risk per day. 1% risk lang tayo. Okay? So, that magtatagal kayo at marami kayong matutunan dito sa Forex. Kasi pag nasunog ka, one time, big time ka lang. Wala ka ng pambawi. Okay? So, here we go sa CPI natin. So, CPI is forecast. No, forecast sa CPI is it's a lower reading from the previous month na ano forecast. So ano bang ibig sabihin ng forecast na medyo below sa ano dito kasi uh, last time the core CPI oh, bumababa na. So sa CPI year on year uh nung October it's 8.2 mataas and then nung November is bumababa na. So that's why yung Fed ay nagpapahiwa tignan ng ano ng lower interest rates kasi nakokontrol na yung uh, inflation. CPI is an indicator ng inflation. No, simple simple explanation lang. So kung gusto niyo yung in-depth explanation about CPI, you can always google it, no? So google niyo lang. Pero dito sa atin chismisan lang naman tong ano na to. So ano ba yung mga impacts nitong CPI na to? So scenario 1, okay? Ay, hindi pa pala. Dito, dito muna tayo sa forecast. No? Sa forecast, yung CPI, uh, the forecast is telling a story na bumababa na ang bumababa na yung bumababa na ang inflation. So, the data is telling us na ang ginawang rate, nung, rate hike ng Fed na 75 BPS ng mga nakaraang buwan ay nagtitake effect na. At dahil dito, nakokontrol na yung inflation. Okay? Kasi yun lang naman yung purpose ng rate rate hike is to control the inflation. Ngayon kung nakokontrol na nila, wala na silang reason para mag-increase pa ng rate hike. So sa scenario 1, if ang CPI data ngayon, ngayong release na to, if it's lesser than the forecast nila na 7.3, meaning mas malaki yung effect ng uh, rate hike noon at mababa yung inflation. So ang um, Fed maybe on Thursday hindi na sila magi increase okay it may they may go for a 50 bps or lower kung, kung lower yon it's uh, madidevalue yung ano pag binabaan ng Fed ang interest rate yung dollar will lose value okay so pag nag lose ng value hindi maganda para sa ekonomiya din noon ng Philippi ah, ng Philippines ng US so Iba balance din ng Fed John, Alam na nila yon. So, if ever, gano'n na mangyayari, CPI will be less babagsak ang demand ng US dollar. Why? Because uh, inflation is controlled. The domino effect nun is ang um, interest rate is hindi nila tataasan. So, the demand for the dollar will go down. And then, magkukontinue ang move ng ating gold no, kung titignan natin dyan, magkukontinue ang ating gold na pabullish for the next year. So, kung titignan natin siya sa monthly na price action. So, if ever, no, CPI will be lower ngayon. You know, inflation is controlled. Okay? Uh, ano na yun? Uh, it will signify a dovish move for the Fed, no, ititigilan nila yung rate hike, uh, which will devalue, or hindi, malilesen na naman yung demand for the dollar. So, itong price action, based on sa price action ng monthly candle, if the price will close above, no, 1790 level, so, kung nandun siya sa level na yun, it could retake 
the 1800 level, 18 na level, and maybe sa first quarter ng 2023, mag-19 na si gold. So, that will be the effect no nung CPI. Pag, ano yun, sa scenario 1 yun, pag lesser siya. What if higher ang inflation? Then, the Fed has all the reason to increase to, to still implement a 75 BPS or increase nila yun. Ang downside naman nun is the recession. Uh, is baka mapaaga yung recession or biglang mag-recession kasi pag too much hike sa interest rate, it will cause a recession. Okay? Pagka, ano na. So, ganun naman yung mga effect nun. So, chismis lamang ito. No? Chismis. So, ano bang dapat abangan natin dito ngayon? So, if ngayong araw ka mag-trade, if lower CPI ang lalabas dyan, uh, you should be looking for bullish setups. Pag, pero wag muna dun sa pag-release ng news. Okay? So, take time, mga 30 minutes or 1 hour after the news. So, maghanap ka ng bullish setups. Why? Because the effect, no, the long-term effect of that reading is, ayun. Kahit na na-priced in na ito, no, na-priced in na to, kasi if ever uh, low yan, na-priced in na to since ano, November, na-priced in na ng market yan, kasi nag-bullish na siya. So, this one, uh, be, maybe mag-week yan, or kung wala talaga siyang week dito, yung gold na yan sa 1763, kung wala siyang week, so, it could trigger a strong bullish move for next year. Okay? So, if lower ang CPI, bullish setups ang hanapin. If higher CPI naman, if higher yung reading, meaning mataas pa rin yung inflation, bearish setups ang hanapin yung kay gold. Okay? Bearish. So, meaning magbabagsak pa to. Because the Fed will eventually magre-raise niya naman yung ng high. mag i Magre-raise na naman ang interest rate. So, it will push the demand for the dollar. Okay? Mag-push ng demand. So, maghanap yun yung sell setup. So, baka mag-continue yung downtrend niya at babasagin yung 1632. So, we don't really know. Tingnan natin kung ano yung mga data. Yun naman yung, yun, yun yung ano, magiging narrative ng market nun. Eventually. Okay? For next year. Okay? So, we are combining the technical analysis and the fundamental analysis you know, because uh, markets move because of fundamentals. Okay? Hindi naman nagmumove ang market dahil gumagawa na siya ng pattern. Diba? Guma nagmumove yan dahil sa fundamentals. No? Yan yung pinakaugat niya. So, ayun. Uh, learn to adapt sa market ko ano yung pinaggagawa niya. So I hope everyone's having a good time. So observe observe lang muna kayo. Uh, wala pa akong na-open na trade. So sa Telegram natin, I'll explain the trades at merong mga entries doon. So if you have the time to join, umabot ka na sa video na ito, sa part ng video na ito. It's around 8 minutes na. So salamat sa pakikinig. So subscribe ka sa YouTube natin, join our Telegram for more trade setups and yeah